Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some products from the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes collection. So if you want to see my thoughts on the palette, I got three of the lipsticks and I'm also going to use the Super Nudes palette. All of that good stuff, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Charlotte Tilbury is one of my all-time favorite brands, so of course I had to pick up what I could from this collection. So this is a super nudes collection. It's available right now on the Charlotte Tilbury website. I do find that not all of the time, but a lot of the time these products do end up carrying over to Sephora. So if they do end up going over there, I will let you know in my community tab make sure you have my notification bell on so you can get notified as soon as it goes over if it goes over to Sephora. So in this collection there are a few repromotes as well as some new items. I have the Nudegasm face palette of course I was so excited about this. This is brand new to the collection. Looks like online there are five lipsticks in the collection. One is repromote and then four are brand new. At the time that this launched they did not have the kissing formula of Runray royalty lipstick so I don't have that but I have the other three matte revolution lipsticks that are new to this line. There's also a black and nude liner duo. I passed on that. I just didn't need that. And then finally, this is also a repromote. This is a Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. I actually have this in my collection. I haven't used it yet. It was in my palettes to try drawer. I got it as a gift a while ago and I thought this was the perfect time to try it out. Without further ado, we are going to dig into the most exciting part for me, the face palette. Then I'll get into the eyes and then the lips. I, of course, will have timestamps if you're only interested interested in certain products, but it's time to zoom in and take a closer look. Like I said, the first product that we're digging into is the Nudegasm Face Palette. So what the box is going to look like is this. We have a face and it says it's for a runway ready bronze sculpt and glow. This palette is made in Italy. The actual component itself is going to match the box. Now this is $75 and it does have an 18 month shelf life. You have all of the details on the back. My sticker's kind of crooked. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Anyways, so cute packaging. I mean, I don't know about the Facebook you packaging. You open it up, you do have a mirror. I like that the mirror stands up by itself, meaning it's great for travel. You can use this as a mirror. And then of course you are going to reveal the four shades. So on the back, this is how she describes each formula. We have a super glow, a multi glow, a soft sculpt, and then a super sculpt. Now this is the only palette that she launched this time, only in one shade, which is unfortunate because the last kind of gasm face palette that she launched, she launched two. The other one is in my mom's collection. I didn't feel like getting it but I have the lighter one right here and just so you can compare the packaging I like this packaging better so this one was the lighter one from the last season that she came out with these and she also had a deeper one this one she went with only the one palette which is interesting because we've been asking for more I was really really excited about this because I used the lightgasm all the time I don't think that this was a perfect palette I think there were some formulas that weren't the way that I liked them but I just love the color and the effect and the look of it on the face so much that I grabbed for it a lot. So I'm really excited about this one. So some tips that she gives us is the Super Glow, which is the highlight here. She says that you can use this either wet or dry. And she describes all of these as having a translucent texture, which is supposed to stretch over the skin and allow your skin to shine through, aka sheer. So <laughs> in case you needed to know. The intention of this is to give a glass-like glow all over the skin. As far as how these swatched, they are kind of a baked gelée formula, so you don't get any pickup from them, but they do deposit a decent amount of color here. So these are the first two shades. The highlights, a little bit more golden. We have a peachy blush shade. The lighter contour color is very, very cool, and it is a little bit more on the sheer side. And then the dark color it does have a decent amount of pigment but you can definitely see what she says when they're translucent so we'll see when I swatch it compared to the light gasm I'm just gonna show you the differences right now I think it's because these have been worn down a little bit but these top two shades definitely seemed more creamy this formulation felt a little bit more dry but I think that has to do with the fact that these colors are worn down a little bit so there's differences in the formulations here top row is gonna be the same however the bottom you can see the new gasm 
Gasm now has two contour shades, whereas the Glowgasm face palette kind of had a pop blush, is what she called it. I wish there was another cheek shade here as opposed to two contour shades, but I haven't put it on my face yet, so enough of my jibber jabber. I'm gonna use this Sigma Dream Powder Perfector from their new collection with Beauty Bird. And I'm gonna do the light side on one face. This brush isn't too dense. Let me get my hair out of my face so you guys can see a little bit better. A lot more of the color picked up on my brush than I thought it would because the bronzer shade in the Glowgasm palette actually did not carry a lot of pigment. That was my least favorite formula from that one and it, I feel like she improved this formula. It actually shows up on the skin even if it this is the lighter shade of the two. If you like a bronzy look, you might want to go in with a warmer bronzer over top because this one is very, very neutral, leaning more cool. There's not too much warmth to it. It's not a pure gray color, but you can definitely see it shades the face. So I'm going to wipe my brush off and this is what that lighter shade looks like. It does leave a glow underneath. My skin was very glowy today. I'm wearing the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue, which I love. Great for summer, especially if you love a glowy complexion. So the glowiness is still seeping through which I really like. So I like that that formula has that flexibility. I'm gonna wipe off this brush and we're gonna go to the darker one. This carries more warmth in it. It's definitely deeper. I definitely need to dig into it less. If you have a fair complexion, I don't know that this shade would work as well on the face for you. You might have to use a very light hand or use this on the eyes. If you have like a light medium skin tone like me, I can definitely make this work. I do need to go a bit lighter handed. I would say. The perfect shade for me is probably a mixture between these two together. So the next time that I use this, I'll kind of go in both and that would be my perfect shade. So that's how I would make it work for me, but you can see the differences between the two sides. This one is clearly darker and I think if I built it up more, it could look a bit muddy. If you're on my skin tone, I think mixing them is going to give you the perfect option. So I really like how bronzed this looks on the forehead though. But they both blended beautifully and I'm happy to report that these give off way more color than the bronzer in this palette gave out because that gave me nothing. This applies really beautiful and I can see what she means by that translucent formula. It really is. It feels very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't look powdery at all. It's a powder that's going to give you a very skin-like finish. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to use this brush because I like the shape. I've wiped it off. Let's get into the blush here. So if you don't like a shimmery cheek, I don't think you'll like this because this does have a sheen to it. Oh, this is a gorgeous peach color. It does have a golden glow to it. So you can see it's slightly emphasizing some texture right here. This is so pretty though. And it's giving off the perfect amount of pigmentation. Ooh, I love this color. I typically don't go for very peachy colors. I prefer a more pinky blush, but this is a nice change for me. This is so pretty. It's not powdery, but it gives off a good amount of pigment. Oh wow, this is a really pretty color. Okay, I love this blush. I think it's stunning. Big fan of that. Now we're gonna move on to the highlight part, and she does suggest that you can use it wet. I'm not going to. I wanna see how it looks like on its own. So, oh, this is pretty too. Can you tell I'm a fan? I am really liking this. It is more on the glowy side. If you want it even more glowy, do what she says and make your brush wet. But I think this is so pretty and you already get so much glow from all of these colors. You don't need to wet your brush. This looks stunning. I love, 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 love the way that this is making my cheeks look. And I really, really loved the light gasm, but I think I like the nude gasm better. This is more my speed. I do feel like the formulas are improved with this one. Not a dud in here. I really, really like this. Looks great. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts on this. I love it. If these are your kind of colors, I'm giving this one a nice big thumbs up. All right, we are gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette. This is the Super Nudes Easy Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is a repromote. This was in her collection in the past. She discontinued 
reviewed it and has relaunched it this time. It's $57 and it's described as a mini six shade nude eyeshadow palette with two easy to wear modern matte eye looks. So what she means by that is on the back she kind of gives you directions. So the two looks are going to be a prime, enhance, smoke and define, and then you can do it with the two sides. So this is supposed to be a look. This is supposed to be a look, but of course, we're just gonna do what I feel like doing today. So she describes these eyeshadows as satin matte, and I 100% agree with that. And if you have mature skin, you will love a satin matte formula. Now, this is what we learn in makeup school. When it comes to mature eyelids, you don't want an eyeshadow that's too matte because it's gonna make your eyelid look very dry. And you don't want an eyeshadow that's too shimmery because it's going to emphasize those fine lines and wrinkles on the eyelid. A satin matte formula is actually the most flattering formula for mature eyelids. If you have never been too sure of that, this is going to be a beautiful formula for you. Now these swatch absolutely beautiful, so smooth, and I think this is one of the most true satin matte formulas that I've come across. I know MAC has one, but I feel like it, sometimes there can be very fine glitter particles in there. Very, very fine, like the mica or something. It's a little bit too shiny. I feel like this is a perfect smooth true satin matte. That being said, I haven't put it on my eyes yet. Long story short, I got this as a gift from one of the managers at the Charlotte Tilbury store in Los Angeles because I gave her some business by telling you guys about the Fire Rose quad being there. I don't think it's there anymore, so don't call anymore, but she was like, hey, thanks, can I send you some stuff? And she included this and I was excited because I didn't have it and then it's been sitting in my drawer to try. So this is the perfect opportunity. I set my eyes with a little bit of concealer. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. We're just gonna give ourselves a nice pretty nude look. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. This is like a cream shade and I'm gonna put this underneath my brow. This is just gonna set the eye. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna run it over the eyelid to set the concealer. I like how this side is more cool and this side is more neutral. We're gonna go into this shade. It's like a neutral brown. I'm gonna use this to define the crease. You're gonna get no fallout from these, none at all. And then we're gonna slowly start building. I'm not gonna do anything transformative for today's look, by the way. Just a basic, simple nude eye, blending seamlessly into one another. And what I'm noticing is these are not overly pigmented. I'm just mixing both of those shades and running them along my lower lash line. So these are very good if you're heavy handed or you're kind of in the beginning stages of learning how to use eyeshadows because you can't apply too much of it. And I really like that. Even though I'd say it's, you know, not as pigmented, the actual formulation, the texture, the pigmentation, it's still very blendable, very easy to use. Not as pigmented it is not a bad thing. I guess I'm doing <laughs> this look right here. Okay, finally, I just want to add some depth out here. The secret, and it's not really a secret, but the key to getting the most blended, perfected look is to layer. Start off light, slowly work your way to dark, give each shade a little bit of patience. All right, we're gonna go into the cream shade again, and I'm going to put this all over the lid. And then finally, we're gonna take the black, taking it on just an angled brush, and I'm gonna push this into the lash line. I'm just thinking about how much I would love to put this in my bridal kit because it's the perfect formula for mother of the groom or mother of the bride. And if you do have more mature eyelids and you've been struggling with eyeliner formulas, I do suggest just using a good eyeshadow. I mean, you can't mess up with it. It's so much easier to apply and it just adds very subtle definition to the eyes. It's so pretty no matter what age you are. Just press that into the lash line. I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to blend it to make it more smoky. And there we go, that's the final look with this eyeshadow palette. I definitely don't think it's a need for everybody just because, I mean, these are colors that are very easily replicated within your own collection. However, I do love the formulation on here. I think it's beautiful, it's soft, and I keep mentioning this, but it's just, it's screaming mature skin to me. I really think you would love this formula if you have mature skin and you're struggling to find a formula that flatters your skin type. This is beautiful, I love it, not overly pigmented, 
it very easy to blend. It doesn't look too dry on the eyelids. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some eyelashes and then we'll be back to finally test out some of these lipsticks. All right, it is time to get into the lipsticks. Like I said, it looks like there were five in this collection. One is called Supermodel that came out in a lipstick trio collection a couple of years ago. I didn't pick that one up, but at the time that these were available, I picked up three of the matte revolutions that were out that seemed to be new. There is also a kissing formula, which by the way is my all-time favorite lipstick formula from Charlotte Tilbury. It is a cream lipstick. It has a shine to it. It's gorgeous in the shade Runway Royalty. I do not have that, but I have the Matte Revolution and I do like her matte formula a lot. They aren't very drying, but they are matte. They're not as good as the other one in my opinion. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude on. I thought this would be the perfect lip liner for these lipsticks and it just gives me a nice little outline to the colors. So the first one that we're going to try is Cover Star. These are going to be $34 each, but if you follow my channel, you know that Charlotte Tilbury has my all-time favorite lipstick formula, so I don't mind buying all the lipsticks. Here's what it looks like. So Cover Star is described as a nude muted apricot lipstick. So let's see. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. Ooh, I love this shade. Mm-hmm. This is my kind of nude. I love that the 90s kind of brown nude lipsticks are in because I just love these colors. So, okay, love this one. If you like that lighter lip with a darker lip liner kind of look, you will love this. I know even if you have a deeper skin tone, you might be like, ooh, I don't know. Nothing a lip liner can't fix. This is perfect to make your lips look bigger. All right, let's try the other shade now, but this... It's Cover Star. It reminds me of like a Nude Kate, if you are familiar with the lipsticks, like a matte version of Nude Kate. Okay, we're going a little bit deeper to catwalking. And by the way, the lipsticks in this collection are the same normal packaging, just gold. So catwalking is described as a fresh neutral nude peach. This is gorgeous as well. Definitely has a stronger peach color to it this time, and it is deeper, but it still is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude shade. I'm more partial, I think, to catwalking because I really like a light, light nude <laughs> lip shade. This is a beautiful, everyday kind of nude. I really like this one. Okay, final one. This is the deepest one. This is Super Fabulous. Super Fabulous is described as a deep rosewood brown nude. So it definitely looks deeper. It's still extremely wearable. Obviously, it's a little bit more bold than the other two, but I love it for evening looks. Charlotte Tilbury does no wrong with her lipsticks, so let's be honest here. All right, we're gonna zoom out and go over my final thoughts on this collection. All right, you guys, I am very, very into this collection. Everything that launched in this line I think is really nice. Now, keep in mind, I do really like a more brown-based nude, so this had my name written all over over it. But everything from the Nude Gasm palette I felt like was better this time around than the first launch of these palettes. It is a more peachy, warm kind of palette, but I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. If you like a glowy look on the cheek, I think you will enjoy this a lot. So I'm into this. While I don't think you need the eyeshadow palette because it's not a special eyeshadow palette, it is nice. So if it's something that you're eyeing, I can give you a thumbs up that you'll like it. Just keep in mind, it's not a typical kind of powder formula. It doesn't have a ton of pigmentation. It's a little bit more of a slick formula as opposed to a dry powder, but I love it. I think it's so easy to use, and if you feel like this is something that you would use a lot, I can tell you I think you will like it. And then all of the lipstick shades are gorgeous. Right now I'm wearing a mix of Catwalking and Super Fabulous. So I mixed the lightest shade with the darker shade to get this look right here. I don't think these are gonna be the lipsticks for everybody. If you don't like a brown-based nude, I don't think you will like these. But if you are into those colors, these are wonderful. So that is all I have for today's review. Big two thumbs up from me. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.